Hello, I am a Micron memory chip. I might be small, but I am mighty. You may not have met me yet, but I'm inside many of your favorite devices. In fact, I enable your mobile devices, computers, and other electronic gadgets to transform how the world uses information to enrich life for all. My story starts on the design board. Computer-aided design tools help engineers lay out billions of electronic components on me. Once I am designed, smart folks determine how to build me. And there are thousands of steps. The journey to build me can take a month, but will only take a few moments to show you how it's done. Come with me. We'll visit Micron Singapore, the NAND Center of Excellence, to witness my production journey. After the design and development phase, I am ready to be built on silicon wafers in a fabrication area or fab. Welcome to the state-of-the-art clean room that is 100 times cleaner than a hospital operating room. This level of cleanliness is essential to ensure silicon wafers are protected from ambient contamination. The fab houses multiple, massive, multi-million dollar machines that perform many intricate chemical processes that transfer the microscopic chip design onto the wafers. Among the many process areas in the fab, the machines in the photolithography area coat the silicon wafer with a photoresistant material. Then, circuit patterns are exposed to ultraviolet light. Various compounds are applied to create a layer of circuits and the excess material is rinsed away. This process is repeated multiple times, gradually building up layers. Our leading edge NAND features 232 layers, so this takes some time and is quite complex. At this point, hundreds of identical copies of me are now built upon the silicon wafer. Wafers are moved between different machines for each step of the process using a robotic automated material handling system or AMHS. And now we are moved to wafer probing. In probe, initial functionality tests are performed on each image of me, called a die, on the wafer. Only those of us who pass all the tests continue to the assembly process. When the wafers produced in the fabrication facility arrive at the assembly facilities, they get thinned with a polishing or chemical process that ensures the wafer is at a precise and uniform thickness. At this point, I still share the wafer with hundreds of other chips, but it is time for us to go out on our own. The wafer is cut into all of the individual dye using a diamond edge saw. Based on probe test results, the good individual dye are picked by a robot arm from the wafer and then placed on a circuit board. A solid gold wire is used to connect each of us to the circuit board. The next process encapsulates each dye in a protective plastic package and I am ready to be shipped for more tests. Every Micron chip undergoes hundreds of tests to ensure we meet the highest quality standards. This is my final set of tests, including being put under extreme temperatures and conditions to force any weak components to fail. Of course, I also get tested for speed and performance, and I aced every single one test. Now, I get to be named and labeled. I am scanned to verify strict conformance to all specifications. Now that's a chip off the new block. But my journey is not yet complete. Many of Micron's finished chips like me are used to build memory modules and solid-state drives. Automated surface mount assembly equipment is used to mount memory and other components to printed circuit boards that you would recognize as DIMM or SSD. Once integrated in one of these devices, I go through another round of various heating cycles, tests and measurements. After I pass these tests, I am finally placed into industry-standard anti-static packaging and placed in boxes for shipment to customers. Last but not least, this is not just my story. It's a story of Micron, a story of people, tenacity, collaboration and innovation. <laughs>